Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Baller here. We are now on this December 21st, 2022 NBA game day. Wow, this is a long day. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 games for today, December 21st. That's uh, that's a lot. <laughs> so to kick things off, uh, let's talk about this game between uh, Detroit Pistons and uh, the home team, Philadelphia 76ers. The game will actually be at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. And I'm just inviting everyone who haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. By the way, the spread given is minus 11.5, and that's given towards the home team, Philadelphia 76ers. Now, let's take a look at the standings and the rankings of both teams, both belonging to the Eastern Conference. Starting with the Philadelphia 76ers, they are at number 5 in the East with a record of 17 wins and 12 losses. While for Detroit Pistons, uh, sadly, they are uh, the number 15 or the last team in the East with a record of 8 wins and 25 losses. And so let's talk about this one. Philadelphia 76ers, they would have the home court advantage. In terms of um, fatigue, well, uh, Philadelphia 76ers, they also have the advantage because Detroit played last night while uh, Philadelphia was actually resting up. Now, in terms of momentum, uh, that's uh, still obvious. I'm going to... Uh, that's Philadelphia 76ers because I'm looking at uh, their record. They have actually won five straight approaching this game. And for their last 10 games, they have won seven. That's crazy, man. Uh, those are the types of situations where um, the players and the coaches are actually f feeling great, right? Now, if we take a look at Detroit Pistons, man, approaching this game, they have actually lost three straight. All right, so let's take a look at the availability of the players or the health of both teams. Uh, for Detroit Pistons, um, Cunningham is out for the rest of the season. Isaiah Livers is still not available for this game. And for Philadelphia, I see Maxi still out and uh, Cork Mass is uh, still listed as questionable. All right, so let's make this one quick, all right? I guess it's quite obvious everything is actually pointing towards Philadelphia 76ers. And I, I, I feel like Philadelphia... 76ers would actually win the game, man. They're you know they're on the, they're on a the roll. They are at home. Detroit Pistons. They are you know uh, having a an, again uh, a bad a bad time approaching the game. Uh, so if the question is will Philadelphia win or not, the question is yes. Uh, the 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 follow up question would be will Philadelphia be able to cover the spread? Now the spread going back again is eleven point five. That's but that's minus 11.5 for Philadelphia 76ers. I gotta admit, as good as Philadelphia 76ers are right now, and as bad as Detroit Pistons have been for the past three games or so, um, I'm still quite hesitant to give uh, the minus 11.5 towards Philadelphia 76ers. I mean, let's admit, there are a lot of situations wherein you know top-notch teams are actually playing those bottom performers, and we even end up uh, with... A very close match or whatever. Now I'm not saying that Detroit Pistons would actually do that, although they've done that before, not against Philadelphia 76ers, but even better teams, right? Now I know Detroit is um, also, you know, a bit uh, tired and all that, but I'm pretty sure uh, with that bad or poor performance last night, um, those are the kinds of uh, games where, in if you're, a, you know, if you're a player, you would actually want to have a bounce back, regardless whether it's, you know, it's um, uh, two days after, or regardless whether it's a uh, that's tomorrow evening or whatever. Um, I know it's, it may not be that effective because of ta because of uh, fatigue, but 11.5, I guess, is just too much. I'm going to side with Detroit Pistons still covering the spread despite of Philadelphia winning the game. So that's Detroit plus 11.5. Detroit still has enough um, uh, scorers and they still have enough driving them as they have a lot of youth uh, for them to do that 11.5 spread. Again, that's Detroit Pistons plus 11.5. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.